we've got plants like this collard greens, which is a cousin of kale, growing big, beautiful, healthy leaves, really almost year round, it seems like, because they tolerate heat as well as cold. And I've got smaller kale coming in, ready for the cold season. Just a few weeks ago, I thought this beautiful plant was a cucumber because the leaves are very similar. It actually grew out of the compost spontaneously by accident. This cucumber, we had no reasonable expectation that this cucumber would grow at all because this cucumber just popped up from soil that had been... Composted. Yeah, composted. So we didn't even know this cucumber was in there. And when he popped out, it was really, really hot, dead heat of the summer. And we thought, man, that cucumber is probably not going to make it. So, But we crossed our fingers anyway. And Aaron's been out here doing all kinds of garden magic. And uh, look at this now. Look at this leaf. It's bigger than my hand. Well, we've since learned it's a butternut squash. And it's starting to grow big. And uh, I'm sure it'll take, well, a couple more weeks to come in. But it's looking good. Very excited about that. most excited about are these green beans here that I grew really because they're Melissa's favorite. I love them too. And they've started to grow in beautifully. These creeping vine ones probably have another week or so before they produce, but these shorter bush beans just came in the other day after about 50, 55 days. And you can see where the flowers have opened up into green beans, like this one right here. I really feel like growing some of our own food is a revolutionary act, or at least it's the making of a revolutionary act. Of course, doing it all by myself isn't going to change the world, but if everybody did, well, it would be kind of like the George Orwell quote, telling truth at a time of universal deceit is a revolutionary act. So I'm just simply going to pick these green beans and we're going to have them for dinner. It's simple, but that's how things start. Growing your own food in the time of genetically modified foods, mega farms, horrible grocery store ingredients, in a time of great ignorance and deception, uh, really could change a lot of things, empower people, and help us to take this country back, take our lives back, and be wholesome and healthy people.